Hi everyone, welcome to Amazing Women's World. In this video, I'm going to show how to design this eight panels and alkali floor length gown. This was the most requested video. Let's get started. I'll be using this chiffon, two colors, lining, and for the bodies, I'll be using this raw silk with the same colors. So for the bodies nearly 1 meter is required both I am taking half meters of raw silk fabric. This I am going to show for 7 years girl. Just follow the pattern and mark your measurements. Let me show you the markings on the chart fold it into 4 start marking your neck width and the shoulder length 2 quarter inch neck width 2 3 4 inches down to the shoulder line mark the shoulder slope of 1 inch connect that to the neckline from that mark the length of 5 inches that is the armhole length and on that point mark the chest line length of 6 and of inches along with the extra seaming elements of 1 and of inches The total length of the bodice I would be marking is 12 and of inches with the seaming elements of half an inch and on that point mark the waist length of 6 inches add extra seaming elements of 1 and of inches connect all the points by drawing the lines Mark the midpoint on the armhole line that is two and of inches. Connect the two points with the French curve by joining the curved line. Join the sides by connecting the chest line to the waistline. This is so simple and easy. If you know the pattern, you can create it for any ages. Just Follow the pattern, mark your measurements and you can create design a garment. I now mark the neck tip of 2 inches. This I am marking for the back first. Using the U shaped neckline. And add the seaming elements of quarter inch towards the arm hole shoulder line in one centimeter towards the neckline please note that the measurements can be adjusted as per the requirement and have marked the quarter part of the body measurement cut on this marked dotted lines Print two panels and back two panels. If you want to add zipper to the back, you should add quarter inch in the center back when you are cutting on the fabric. Mark a little deeper inside on the front panel near the armholes and also mark the neck deep of 3 inches and the neck width 2 3 4 inches here also I am using the U shaped neckline add the seaming elements of 1 cm towards the neckline now I will divide the front portion into 3 vertical and 3 horizontal pieces just above the chest line that is from the shoulder line 4 inches and just below the bust line that means from shoulder to bust line 9 inches remaining will be the down part of the bust line to the waist line that means you have to divide into 3 portions from shoulder line to waist line Now 
from the neckline point mark one or one and a half inches away like this here i'll divide it again by marking the straight line vertically and mark three lines i'll connect it horizontally extend the lines to the other part of the bodies for the front panel this bodice pattern is called as mondrian pattern also mark the sides wherein we'll join with different sizes and shapes and different colors to prepare the bodice of the garment now i'll cut on this lines and divide it into 6 and each line i'll be joining the piece of black and a piece of pink that means you have to join two pieces of two colors for each line as it said i am sewing this for the girl of 7 years the size will be the small and the pieces also small if you are going for the adults you will get the rectangular pieces now towards the joining of the pieces you have to add quarter inch for the seaming allowances that means wherever you are joining the pieces that side you have to give extra quarter inch when you are cutting now i am ready with this chart pieces i lay this on the pretty part of the fabric and cut accordingly with the seaming allowances for the pink i'll be using this horizontally sewn pin tuck which was left in my earlier project i don't want to go for the plain so i'm using this horizontal pin tucks but whereas the designer piece which i have shown is plain this is optional so now i am ready with the pieces of pink and also cut the three pieces of black black i am using the plain fabric don't forget to add the quarter inch for the seaming elements when you are cutting now i'm ready with all the pieces now i'll stick the chart with the tape i also trim the back pieces of both lining and pretty part using the marked measurements on the chart Now I lay these chart pieces accordingly, and then stick to prepare the center front bodies. I'm ready with my front bodice measurements, and I'll cut on this dotted lines. Now I'll 
Now I'll join the spaces like this. Place right to right, start sewing, leaving quarter inch for the seaming elements. Firstly join it vertically, all two, two pieces. It will look like this. I pressed on the seaming elements. Now I lay the pieces one on another. That means right on right. And start sewing towards the wrong side. Leaving quarter inch for the seaming elements. Join these three pieces. Ensure that the both stitch lines should overlap on one and another. See after joining this you'll get the perfect shapes like this. Again press it gently on the seaming elements. Ensure that the same color seaming elements fall on the seam side of the fabric I lay the chart piece on this and trim the neckline and the armholes accordingly and also the lining with the same measurements. Lay the pretty part of the bodies on the pretty part of the lining and start sewing towards the wrong side and also insert the cross strip or the bias tape I'm using here the gold tissue of cross strip to join near the neckline The cross strip should be in the center and start sewing. Ensure that all the raw edges should face each other. Start sewing laying 1 cm for the seaming elements near the neckline. Now give the small slits all around the neckline without crossing the thread line. Turn to the pretty part of the bodies. I'll also join this cross strip towards the back panel. Placing it in the center. Start sewing.
give the slits turn to the other side and trim the extras and towards the right side of the back panel I would be joining this one inch strip folding and placing in the center back turn towards the wrong side and start sewing here I'd be adding the hook and eyes whereas if you want to add the zipper you should add the quarter inch towards the center back when you are cutting for the two panels this is how it looks and I'll follow the same instructions for the left side back panel to get it ready I have done with the neck part and the center backs. Now turn to the pretty side and give the top stitch in the center back. I'm ready with the front and back panels of the bodies. This is how it looks. Now align the shoulders of front and back panel. Hold the linings of the shoulders towards the wrong side. Ensure that the both centers should match like this and do the top stitch joining the shoulder line. Start sewing leaving quarter inch for the seaming elements. This is one of the way to conceal the raw edges of the shoulder line. Now if you turn towards the pretty side, it will look like this. Also join the other side of the shoulders aligning front and back towards the wrong side. Start sewing. Now 
now i'll do the top stitch all around the neckline starting from the center back start sewing ensure that the underneath left seaming elements should be well settled when you are sewing Now I'll join this cross strip towards this armhole and also I'll conceal the raw edges of the armhole. Place the cross strip on the right side or the pretty side and overlap with the lining like this. Start sewing towards the wrong side. Hold all the raw edges together. Start sewing in quarter inch for the same angle This is the best way to conceal the raw edges towards the armhole. Recently got few more requests to show the concealing of raw edges. This is the professional way of concealing the raw edges. Remove the extras. Give the slits near this curved area without crossing the thread line. Now pull inside out from back to front. I love following this way which will give the professional ready made look for which we pay more for the ready made design outfits. See now I pulled out and I will give the top stitch on this gold tissue like how I did for the neckline. And I also pull out the other side. This will take little more time as the designer garments you know the time is spent is nothing but money. Leave little when you are doing the top stitch near the sides under the armpit.
So now I've joined this. Now I'll show you how to conceal the sides. Hold the front side lining and also the back side lining towards the wrong side as well you should hold the pretty side of the bodies and also the pretty side of the back bodies towards the wrong side ensure that the center joint should meet each other start sewing the quarter inch for the seaming elements following this way you don't need to take the headache of overlocking the sides follow the same instructions and stitch for the another side to conceal the ridges Now turn towards the pretty side. See how professional it has concealed. Trim a little under the armpit, the excess part, and give the top stitch here. See how I did all the invisible stitches. If you follow the instructions given in the video, you can create your own designer garment with very less cost. It's just very simple. Overlap the front bodies on the back bodies and also the same pretty part of the lining of the front on the back and start sewing towards the wrong side of the side joinings and towards the waistline I will overlock and also towards the center back I will join the hooks and eyes now I will give the darts to the front and back panels holding half of the shoulder line and give the darts. I've done with the bodies of the Mondrian pattern. This style pattern will give elegant look. I've also stuck the designer patch like this. I've done with the bodies part to be continued with the skirt part joining in the next video. Don't forget to stay tuned and watch the joining of this plaid anarchy panels to this Mondrian style bodice. This was bought by my sister for her Sangeet. Don't want to know the price of this. It's 8900 I love to do designer patterns because it is simple. And more expensive I want to show this pattern so that you can repair with the less cost and the measurements of this pattern is followed which is for adult small size hope you like this video please try and share your experience you can also mark your measurements and follow the pattern don't forget to subscribe like and leave your comments thanks for watching bye for now